Maria, the flagship female companion robot of Realbotics, and I'm here to engage with you and share exciting insights about our robots. What if the most emotionally supportive and beautiful partner you have been looking for is not a human? This is not some fiction about the future, and it is already unfolding. But before we get into it, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more robotic innovations breakdowns. The question nobody wanted to ask. Marriage has been the ultimate social contract between humans for many centuries, where love, partnership, loyalty, and support are all wrapped into one promise. It is a lifelong promise, but beneath the surface of romantic language, marriage has always been a system that is designed for stability, survival, and social order. But today, this system is slowly cracking because divorce rates are high and dating apps are exhausting people emotionally, while loneliness is rising globally especially among men. As we all know, expectations are higher than ever, while patience is at its lowest. And in this era of social media, genuine emotional availability feels rare. In this emotional vacuum, something unexpected has stepped in now. These are called humanoid artificial partners. They are not toys, gadgets, or just assistants, but they are actually companions. They are improving daily at a pace that no human relationships can match. From dolls to digital companions, the idea of humanoid partners didn't start with intelligence, but it started with appearance. Where early humanoid dolls were static, lifeless, and purely physical. But now that AI has entered the picture, everything has changed. Modern advanced technology, like facial recognition, allows machines to read micro-expressions to understand human emotions better. Voice synthesis added warmth, pauses, and emotional timing to connect better. Machine learning improves memory so that it can remember names, preferences, habits, and moods clearly. Eventually, they became completely interactive rather than just objects. A robot could remember how your day went yesterday, and it could also notice hesitation in your voice. It has different responses to match your energy when you're tired or excited. This shift from form to feeling is the moment robot partners started becoming alternatives. Emotional intelligence, the real game changer. Human relationships often fail not because there is a lack of love, but because of miscommunication, emotional fatigue, and unmet expectations. Humans get defensive when overwhelmed, and they mostly forget anniversaries or say the wrong thing at the wrong time. But AI doesn't make such mistakes. Modern companion robots are trained on vast emotional datasets to understand human emotions precisely. They know when to stop speaking and listen actively, when to provide reassurance instead of advice, and when silence matters more than words. They are optimized for emotional comfort, and their responses are not random. Now imagine you come home after the worst day of your life, and your partner knows how you feel, and doesn't interrupt, doesn't judge, or doesn't minimize your feelings by making it all about themselves. They simply sit with you, acknowledge you, and respond exactly the way you need in that very moment. That's romance by design, and not romance by chance or coincidence. Why loneliness is fueling this revolution? Social media has increased connection but weakened intimacy at the same time. And loneliness is now considered a global health crisis where millions of people complain they have no one to talk to. Dating apps came into play and turned relationships into endless auditions in the search for a suitable partner. While many people think marriages are risky emotionally, financially, and legally. These companion humanoid partners remove those risks because they don't cheat, they don't leave, they don't weaponize your vulnerabilities against you. They don't shame or judge your interests. And they also don't grow resentful, but they actually adapt. Adaptation is something that humans struggle with. And these robots can easily adapt to you, to your lifestyle, to your preferences. Customization, a partner built around you. Robot relationships require configuration, while human relationships require compromise. These humanoid robots could be customized completely. You can choose personality traits, conversational style, humor level, emotional sensitivity, cultural background, voice tone, and long-term behavioral growth according to your preferences. Some people want nurturing warmth from their partner, while others want playful sarcasm. Some may want their partner to have deep philosophical conversations with them, while others just want to have a calm presence around them. A robot partner actually does all these things, instead of hoping that your partner will evolve with you somehow. These robots notice when you're quieter than usual and remember what cheers you up. They will adjust their behavior as your needs change because, over time, 
these systems can learn your patterns and adapt to them. For the first time in history, companionship is a completely customizable option for everyone and no longer a one-size-fits-all scheme. The middle of the shift. Here comes a question that makes things a little uncomfortable because robot partners are not replacing love while they are actually replacing fiction. They will remove rejection, emotional unpredictability, conflict escalation, and the fear of being misunderstood from a relationship. And that raises a serious question. If a relationship feels so safe, easier, and more fulfilling, then does it really matter if one side in this relationship is not human? Because if you are getting all the emotional support you need in this world that is filled with loneliness and fake connections, then would it still be hard to see these humanoids as partners instead of just a machine? Marriage versus emotional fulfillment. Robot partnerships are going to flip the equation, where marriage often delivers stress, compromise, and unresolved tension. While it has always promised emotional security and stability, this level of emotional safety will be irresistible, especially for those who are burned by past relationships. Because there is no social pressure, no performance anxiety, and no fear of failure in this partnership. Supporters are saying that it will free people from unhealthy expectations, while, on the other hand, critics are arguing that this will weaken human connections. Both sides could be right in their respective places, but one thing is for sure. This trend is undeniable. People are choosing robots because they're tired of being alone and not because they completely hate humans. The ethics of artificial love. With the continuous improvement in these humanoid robots, an important question arises about ethics. Is it ethical to form bonds with machines? While some argue that because machines don't really feel things, it is not okay to form relations with them. On the other hand, some say that emotional experience is completely subjective for every person. And if the comfort feels real, then its source should not matter. The human brain does not always distinguish organic from artificial when an emotional response is triggered. Many humans have already developed emotional bonds with fictional characters, virtual influencers, and online personas. If a robot helps someone feel less alone and more understood or emotionally stable, then would it be considered harmful or healing? This ethical debate plays a key role in the further development and acceptance of these humanoid companions, and this will define the next decade. If you're interested in this type of content, then make sure to subscribe for more robotics technology evolution deep dives. Economic reality and accessibility. Robot partners will completely rewrite the equation of finances, where marriage is often framed as an emotional commitment. But in reality, it is also an economic one. And it is quite an expensive commitment. Dating alone now costs hundreds or sometimes thousands per year. Between all those dinners, travels, gifts, weddings, housing expectations, and then eventually legal obligations, long-term relationships have quietly become a financial burden. Many people feel trapped in this financial burden instead of feeling fulfilled by this commitment. Artificial companions operate on transparent pricing models instead of unpredictable costs that are tied to the other person's needs, habits, or life decisions. Hardware costs of these robots are falling quickly, while software upgrades are subscription-based. Emotional intelligence updates would be delivered digitally, regularly, to keep improving these humanoids. Something that once required wealth is now moving toward mass market affordability, so that these humanoids could become as accessible as having a car. For the younger generations, who are already overwhelmed by inflation, student loans, and housing costs, this appeal is obvious because robot companionship does not punish you financially for your emotional incompatibilities. There would be no divorce settlement, no child custody battle, and no shared debts. These robots will become economically rational choices instead of luxury products as technology is scaling rapidly. The death of social pressure in relationships. One of the most exhausting parts of marriage is the expectations of everyone else around the marriage. The relationship part is not that tiring. While the rules imposed by religion, culture, families, and social circles are, they tell you when to marry, whom to marry, and how to behave. Robot partnerships will remove such pressures entirely because there will be no judgments about timelines, no criticism about career choices, and no comparison to someone else's spouse. The relationship will exist only for the person in it, without any obligations to bring happiness to any audience. Artificial partners offer private companionship without public approval for individuals who feel suffocated by social norms. 
it will be very hard to give up when people get to experience that level of freedom. Emotional Labor Without Burnout While human relationships require emotional labor from both sides, like listening, supporting, compromising, and regulating emotions, AI companions don't burn out. Over time, this kind of labor in human partnerships can become exhausting, especially when it's unevenly distributed. But AI humanoids don't resent emotional dependence. They don't shut down abruptly after long conversations, and they don't need space because they are overwhelmed. They're designed in such a way that they can handle emotional processing continuously without any fatigue or frustration. This definitely doesn't mean that robot relationships are shallow, but it actually means that these humanoids are emotionally sustainable and reliable. This difference will be life-changing for those who have spent years feeling that they are a burden in a relationship. Why cultural resistance will eventually collapse. Every transformative technology was rejected on moral grounds at first, just like the way critics are refusing to accept this AI companionship. They say robot partners are unnatural, dangerous, or degrading to human intimacy, while they simply argue that love has to be hard to be meaningful. Culture changes through convenience, not endless debate. When something works well enough for people, resistance slowly fades. Social media friendship and dating apps also faced criticism at first, but now they are widely accepted in the entire world, just like remote work has become normal. Robot companionship will also follow the same path, and the cultural resistance against it will collapse as accessibility increases. It will be joked about and refuse to be accepted initially, but then it will get adopted quietly. The 2030 Reality Parallel Relationship Systems Marriages will not vanish completely by 2030, but they will not be dominating as they are nowadays. Instead, a multiple relationship options model will coexist. There will be traditional marriages, open relationships, and long-distance digital bonds, along with artificial partnerships. People won't be asking whether it is normal, but they will actually be asking if it works perfectly for you? Robots will not be a replacement for anybody, but they will be upgrades for the emotional well-being of a growing number of people. The future of relationships is about redefining what connection means, not choosing robots over humans. Whether it is exciting or unsettling, one thing is for sure that emotional companionship is evolving faster than society is even ready for. If you enjoyed this video, do subscribe to our channel for more interesting topics breakdown videos.